Hey everybody, Derek from Addictive Tips here, and in this video we're going to be making a Windows installation disk completely in the terminal by hand. So step one is open up a terminal and list your hard drives with the lsblk command. So as we can see here, there's a lot of different hard drives connected. The one that we need to focus on is this one here. This is my flash drive. It's 7.6 gigabytes or 8 gigabytes on the packaging. And uh, what we need to do is we need to format it to FAT32. So how do you do this? It's very simple. Just do sudo mkfs.vfat-f32. And then you need to enter the name of the device partition. So you do dev sde1. Now this is going to format my flash drive in FAT32. It's going to delete every single file off of it completely. So the next step is we need to make a folder where we can mount the Windows 10 installed ISO. And please keep in mind, this by hand mode only works with Windows 8, 8.1, and 10. And the reason is, is ever since Microsoft went to UEFI mode, we've been able to do this. If you're trying to do this with Windows 7, it's not going to work. And you should try out Woe USB. But uh, to mount it, it needs a folder and a destination for the ISO files to go to. So to do that, you would need to do mkdir and then the name of the folder, which we'll call Windows 10 dash disk. So once that folder is made, we'll need to mount the ISO file. So I've got an ISO file in my home folder of Windows 10. So I'm going to browse for it so I can get the name of the ISO and the ISO exactly is right here. So now I'm going to mount this as a loop device. Now what that means is I can see the entire context. I can see the entire contents of Windows 10 in the ISO file to copy it to my flash drive. And that is done with sudo mount dash o loop ISO and then Windows 10 disk. Now, when I mounted this, it's going to say device is right protected, mounted read only. This is because the ISO cannot be changed, it cannot be tampered with, but we can get the files from it, and that's all we need. So from here, open up your file manager of choice. In my case, it's Dolphin, but it doesn't really matter because they all do the same thing. Find your Windows 10 disk folder and just control, just control A or highlight them, right click, click copy, then go over here and find your flash drive, right click and click the paste option. Now, as we can see over here, this is copying everything from the Windows ISO to the removable media. And uh, this is all we need to do, guys. Uh, you just need to wait for the file to copy every single file. And once it's done, you can just click the eject button and boot into Windows 10 and get it installed. Or if you did it with Windows 8, you can do it that way as well. So that's going to be it for me today, guys. Uh, making Windows 10 installable on Linux is easier than ever. I'm actually really happy that Microsoft has gone this way because it used to be a real pain to get this working. But thankfully, it's a little bit easier now. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. And I uh, hope you guys... Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. All right, well, I've got to get going, but uh, I'll see you next time.